So first let's try this uh, chisel. That new machine I got, the uh, Veil, has got a, a chisel attachment for it. So I did a chisel on it today. See how it works out. I got a bunch of chisels to do tomorrow or Wednesday. So I figured I'd try it out and see how it works. Looks like to me it worked good, but I don't know much about chisels, but I just know it's sharp and square. And if you remember the guy that had the big Gurker carry knife, well, when I carried it back to him, he handed me these two little knives. That one right there has somewhat of an edge on it. This one here is blunt on both sides. I'll give you a close-up in, in a little bit. And in here is a brand spanking new Gurker. Just apparently like the other one. Right. I'm not going to unwrap it because you already saw the one from last week. It's just like that. It does have a, somewhat of an edge on it. And it's got two little knives right there. And I presume they're dull too. Well, let's take a look at that. That one's got a little bitty edge on it. And that one does too, so they're not as blunt as the ones from last week. So I got, I know no rush on this, so I'll probably do this Wednesday or Thursday maybe, before the weekend farmer's market. Four little knives and a big gurker. This guy's got, gives them away apparently to his friends either. The chisel. And then I got a call from a guy today who had a flock of kitchen knives. We got one uh, stand by minute there. Let's see. That's a hankle of some sort. They were in bad shape. I had to polish them up and clean them up. It has a cut coat, para. This is a hankle ever sharp. It's like saw blades on one side. There's another one, ever sharp, hankle. There's a little para. On a bird's beak type. A small Santuco by Cuisinart. That was full of chips. That looked like four chuns had never been sharpened. It chips all the way down the blade though. It's durable. Here's another, uh, I think it's a, ever, no, this, this is a sister to this one. But a bigger, bigger model. And then I even got a longer model than that. Got a great big Santuco, Califon, Cafalon, I mean. And I thought this was a Cutco. Got a Cutco handle on it, but it says Best Wishes, Suzanne. Oh, maybe it is a Cutco. It's in, in gray, but it don't say Cutco anyways on it. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it does. It's, it's Cutco, sort of a utility serrated knife. Little small serrations on it. But I've already sharpened them, I just took them and gave them a bath. I got to give the guy a call in a minute to pick him up. The gun show, Saturday and Sunday at the Hampton Coliseum was uh, not as busy as it has been. Normally we do 80 to 99 on Saturday. I think we did 65. And Sunday is generally 40, 50% less than Saturday. But Sunday saved us. It was about 63 nights. So... All in all, we did what we normally would do for a Saturday and Sunday, overall. But what we did know was there was a big gun show going on at Hampton. Not Hampton, but in Richmond. It's got like 1,200 tables. So I'm thinking some of the people that would have came down that lived in that area would have came to this gun show, uh, went up to that gun show. That's what some of the vendors that were there seemed to think. Because it was a, everybody was sort of complaining a little bit. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. We didn't have anything weird. We had one great, well, I shouldn't say that. We had a couple great big knives, and zombie, zombie killer knives, I call. And lots of pocket knives. Not many straight bladed knives, a few. I had a guy, I had a brand spanking new, looked like an infidel by Bishmade. 
but it wasn't. It was an automatic copy of somebody. I forget who made it. It had, uh, you know, Finn's Fidels are like daggers. They're sharp on both sides. Well, he wanted to take the serrations off the back end of it on one side. So the blade, let's say the blade is four inches long. Well, it had about an inch and a half of serrations. The rest was straight, but dagger style. So I sharpened it and took the serrations off one side. And you would have thought that he'd had an orgasm when he saw it. I never seen a guy so happy. I mean, it was okay. The serrations were gone on one side. Why he wanted to leave them on one side and completely take them off the other side is beyond me. But he was one of the vendors there too. He was a happy guy. That's about it. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. Maybe more chisels. I'll get back to you. Beaver went to the beach today to land the nada, and it was bleak. I haven't gotten any reports over the weekend. I guess everybody stayed home because it was really bad. It was blowing, blowing northwest, northeast. It blew, it blew hard, it rained. I had to drive the leader's car yesterday just to get my stuff on. I wouldn't get wet in the back of my truck. What she's doing here on that side? She goes to that side and barks at the birds. Actually, she's messing with Jack. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Good luck to everybody. Now, I don't know if somebody, if he's making these or he bought them, but that's the top. You can see it's wide and thick. Someone has, I did about 10 minutes on this one, but it was, it had a somewhat of a bevel on it. But I presume at one time, it was just like this one. You can see there's no difference. <laughs> it's the same thickness all the way around. That's my heavy grinding on that, baby. And here's the chisel. The chisel basically looked like that everywhere, real dark. I cleaned it up on the buffer, and then I stuck it in the chisel jig. I did the backside with some fine sandpaper, and there it is. It looks fine. I just, like I said, I don't know nothing about the chisels. So I just know it's sharp. Mm, dangerous. Cuts paper good. I guess it'll cut wood too. We'll see. I'm supposed to have a bunch of these tomorrow or Wednesday. And a, and a, and a what do you call that thing? A lawnmower blade. Okay, that's the living end. Put all this stuff back in the box and work on it maybe one day this week. See you later. What? You want to play? Oh boy, he gets jealous over his balls. She gets near one of them, he goes, but not. Look, look, look. <laughs> You're such a jealous baby. You're so bad. <laughs> now, you know about a bird, buddy. He loves them birds. He chases every bird, whatever, regardless of how big he is. She don't catch them, but she chases them. Listen, what do you hear? <laughs> I'm going to play. Okay, hold your pants on. <laughs> 